It's time to f f f f face of it. It's time to f face it. Go fucking die. It's time to f f f f f finally fucking upload. As you should know, I'm always down for a da 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 <coughs> duel. I am always prepared to vanquish all who oppose me straight to the Shadow Realm, as you can see by my wallet containing various vital items of mine. For instance, a driver's license, a card of credit, and the spell card, Pot of Greed. Which, uh, I, I don't actually know how I found Pot of Greed, or why it ended up in my wallet. I'll just have to assume that... Like Yugi in the Millennium Puzzle, this card was bestowed upon me through fate. <laughs> Sadly, my fate doesn't allow me to transform into a sexy pharaoh with the sexy voice of Dan Green, but but you deal with the cards you're dealt with in life. Fuck out of here. Unfortunately, Dual Academy has yet to be funded, so I've had to settle for university. Now, as a university student, life has dealt several new cards to my hand. Let's have a look here. Ooh, that's a good one. A terrible deal. Activate only by paying 9,000 of your life points. Wait. No, no. 9,000 Great British Pounds in tuition fees and sacrificing your bank account to the graveyard. Cards like that. The other cards really just revolve around... kind of going to lectures and having a good piss-up, really. Thus solving the mystery of why I can't remember finding Pot of Greed. And on nights out... It's really not rare for you to run into the odd gentleman who really knows the ins and outs of the land, really has a way with words. A very cultured, a very cultured lad. And I say that without a hint of irony. And he'll propose the question... Oi fam lad, do you know where a man can cop some gear, yeah? Oh shit, wait. Like 90% of my audience isn't even from the UK. Okay. Alright, I'll translate so that non-UK viewers can understand. If you're watching this at a time where Google Translate has implemented a roadman option to translate from, you know, you can skip ahead about 10 seconds. Oh, shit. Hmm. <coughs> Greetings, family. Is it within your referential knowledge to direct me as to where I may acquire some... Gear. Now, like, I don't know how far the slang goes past the borders of the UK, but when people say gear, usually they're referring to d -d 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 drugs. And the real king of games would be prepared for any situation. They'd be prepared for any cards which the game of life hands them. And a real king of games would know how to hook a brother up. We've got ancient gear, ancient gear cannon, ancient gear soldier, and oh, ancient gear engineer. Five-star tribute monster. That one's gonna set you back a bit more. Where am I going with this? Well, this deceptive little children's card game known as Duel Monsters is a lot like a drug. Or more specifically, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links comes close. Because this game has me addicted. Like Pokemon Go when it first came out and your friend has Wi-Fi in his car kind of addicted. This game could fill that meth-shaped void in some people with a far more productive, safer, Ancient Egyptian alternative pastime. Are there any side effects to dual monsters? Side effects may include pff, pff, what? What exactly? Like, depression, uh, addiction, uh, eternal torture of your soul in the shadow realm forever, um, frustration. You know, it's really a really really quite textbook stuff for gaming. Don't you, you know? Quite textbook side effects for gaming. Don't you think? Like. You know? Pretty standard stuff. Now, just a heads up for people who haven't played the game yet and might actually play it. Heed this warning, take it from me. For I can see through Konami's bullshit. Thanks to my Millennium Eye. It's alright, I got a spare. I have a shitload of Millennium Eyes in my wallet. Hold on. Save your Duelist ID and sign up to Konami to save your data. Because, for some reason, Konami made it so that you can't just log in with your email so you can go into any device. Sort of like Pokemon Go. I don't know. They didn't, they didn't do that for some reason. I don't fucking know. Like, they don't even warn you. Just 
So if you just so happen to drop your phone in someone's urination station, you don't lose your super rare cards. <laughs> That's a bit of Joey. <laughs> <laughs> when you start off the game, if you're familiar with the TV series, you know straight away it's got voice acting from the original cast, which which is just perfect. You open up the game for the title screen, and it gives you a randomized voice of one of the characters, like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links! Or my favorite, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links! Uh, that, was, that was meant to be Kaiba. Dan Green and Eric Stewart are far more difficult to impersonate than the abridged series made it seem. But that's not my favourite voice for the intro, just because it's Kaiba Boy. It's because... And I get it's not canon in any way. In order for Kaiba to say the title, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, it's like... It's like he's acknowledging that his beloved game of duel monsters is actually named after his long rival, who he is second place to. It's like... It's like the ultimate acceptance of being the silver medal. It's like if Vegeta had to call martial arts Goku. Taekwon... Goku? Fuck it, let's just... Just, just move past it. The voice acting is especially amazing, since some of the NPCs in the overworld you duel are kids. Now, you're probably wondering why I like kids being NPCs so much. Look, just imagine. Imagine the thought of a grown goddamn man playing this game against some kid reacting the way the characters do here. You're finished! Go! Dark Magician! Dark Magic Attack! A suffering? A suffering? I know people twice my age out there do that shit. I know you fucking weebs are out there. So, fucking public service announcement, man. Start, start recording more of these people at conventions at a fucking Toys R Us, I don't fucking know man, just record more of these people, because <laughs> daddy needs his dosage of weeb cringe videos, that's the real addiction here. The whole game really is a nostalgia trip, which is on point for me since I'm the Yu-Gi-Oh equivalent of a Pokemon fan who's only played the first two or three generations and watched a fair amount of the older anime. The cards are kept relatively simple, like I barely know what in the hell a secret summon is and all pendulum means to me is some Linkin Park lyric. All of the original characters are unlockable and playable, mostly anyway. All the boys are here, all the way from Yugi Boy, to Kaiba Boy, to your boy, Maximilian Pegasus. It's just textbook classic children, ancient Egyptian pharaoh, Egyptian fe Pegasus games. So what's the whole aim of Duel Links? Well, there's a lot more to the game than weeding out the weak out of the 30 million people who have downloaded the game. You progress by completing objectives to increase what stage you're at. Get to a higher stage, you get more characters to unlock, you get more features, you get more gems, you get more coins. And with gems and coins, you get more cards to add some extra beef to your decks. It's just like Seto Kaiba's classic catchphrase from the show, You're an amateur duelist, Wheeler. Wait, not that one. First you get the cards. Then you get the power. Then you get the women. Kaiba said that. You, you, you didn't. You, you haven't. You, you must be watching the dub. Like, you know, you only have to be watching the Japanese version of these shows to get the full experience. Like, you know, they always change stuff like that. He probably just said something like, uh, "I summon blue eyes, white dragon." Uh, but he was really saying the quote I just said. You know what I mean? Once you feel as though your deck has arms long enough to box with the best of them, then maybe, just maybe, you'll be cut out for it. You'll be cut out for testing your might with online player versus player. Here is where the weak are weeded out. Here is where you crush the dreams of all of the, all of the weevils and all of the, the Tristan Taylors out there who wanted to be king of games, but just weren't cut from the same cloth of Kyber's robe or whether, whatever the fuck Kyber wears is made of. Here's where what you'd see here isn't completely what you'd remember from playing other Yu-Gi-Oh games. You start with just 4,000 life points, and are only given 3 slots for monsters and set cards. Which, it seems about right for an app, a quicker streamlined version of the original game. And you're not held back from fucking paywalls. Shouldn't have a fucking clarify on that. That should just be a given with games, to be honest. Just, the game can be very easy, to begin with at least. So if you're looking to learn how to play, this would be a good start. It's a bit slow at the beginning, when you already know how to play the game, and the AI practically hands victories over to you. But online play and the game itself getting far more difficult later on solves that. 
Oh, how long was that out for? Fuck, how long was the creation of card games picture out of, of the fu- oh, Fuck it, who cares? Fucking Pegasus and his goddamn Goblin Toon Force cards. 2300 attack can attack directly. Oh, that's, 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 that's alright. Oh, no, like, fuck up, cunt. There's 4,000 life points, you know, may as well fucking summon Exodia right here, why not? Nah, nah, that's not good enough, fucking, you might as well summon Kaiba's goddamn blue eyes white dragon jet that he flies around and crash it right into my fucking room. Fuck out of here, Pegasus. So, so yeah, the game can get difficult at times. Or bullshit, whichever way you want to word it. I had a lot of cards, and I lost them all as a kid, and to this day, I'm still quite pissed off about it. But Duel Links over here provides me with a way to channel my deep-seated rage, which has been slowly building up over the past decade. And now here I am. All I have left are these random fucking cards I threw on the floor and shit. These fucking gears. Fucking back on there. And this pot of greed. Which, which I can't even fucking use. Pot of greed's fucking banned. It's fucking banned. God, it's fucking useless. I can't... I don't know, what can I use this for? Like, an icebreaker when I'm out? Like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Am I, am I just gonna go up to a bar and be like, I activate Pot of Greed. This allows me to add two shots into my lemonade. Like, no, you can't fucking do that. Like, I don't even know what the fuck this card does, to be honest. Like, what the fuck? What does Pot of Greed even do? I bet fucking Pegasus doesn't even know. He made the goddamn game. I mean, in kayfabe, I suppose, he made the game. <laughs> no, fuck it. I'm getting answers. I'm gonna find out what the fuck this card does. Fuck it. We'll be back in a second.